hello all welcome back so in previous video we have seen what are the three different type of google cloud ml services so first is pre-trained model second was google auto ml and third was a custom training so in pre-trained model we have a several services like vision api speech api and other apis and in google cloud auto ml we have to bring your own data set and train our model using our text ai and in custom training we have to bring our data we have to write our own machine learning algorithm and we have to train our model using a google cloud infrastructure so in this video we are going to see about our first pre-trained model that is a vision api so i'll go to a vision api product page and we'll see how we can use a vision api so here i am on a vision api product page so i'll just use it as a free with this demo in first glance and then i'll go to cloud shell and we'll try to implement it using the python as well okay so what i will do i'll just upload any random image from my gallery and we'll see what all details it will capture i'll possibly try to upload my own image so we'll get more details around our facial characteristics as well okay so i am uploading this image and we have to click this checkbox as well so it will take few seconds and after this it will display result here and you could see the details here so first tab you could see a face and it is showing all characteristics of my face so in a first it is showing joy very likely it means a first person in this photo is happy and if it is sad or in sorrow it is very unlikely it angry it's very unlikely it is surprised very unlikely so based on my facial expression it is detecting okay i am happy in this picture okay and it is having a confidence level so whenever you are working in a machine learning on ai so each result will have that confidence level so if more the confidence level it's more the accurate result so currently it is having 93 percent of confidence so it is considered a good when we are using a machine learning and we'll see the objects detected in the pic so ideally it should detect this mic as well now so i'll go here yes and it detected the person and it detected the microphone so all these two things it detected from this image so this is an object now we'll see the label so label will detect all small details from the image now you could see it detected microphone a public address system a beard sleeves collar facial hair audio equipment eyelashes micro stand and all details it showing from the labels tab now if i go to text it will check if there are any text messages hidden or there are any text inside this image so i hope it would detect this cloud architect logo or anything related to google cloud if it is visible so i'll go to text yeah it detected so you could see it's detecting google which is here if i click on this certified these three texts it is detecting and it is just marked as a green and cloud architect which is written on the logo it is a detecting now if i go to properties it will just show the colors and like technical details of this image and safe search it means if this image is safe and there is no adult content spoof it is showing possible and violence very unlikely so it is showing all the details so it will just make sure that image is safe for internet okay so all these details we can get using this vision api now we are using this ui provided by google cloud but we can get this result from our cloud shell as well so in cloud shell we will get our results in this json format so this will be a json format face detection object detection so i'll show you how we can use a cloud shell to get our result in vision api so i'll go to my google cloud console and i'll open a shell here cloud shell so i already uploaded a file to storage bucket so i have this storage bucket and here i uploaded the same file so this image jpg so the same file i uploaded here and in cloud shell i'll use this file okay so i'll open a cloud shell now okay to use uh, any of the machine learning services in a cloud shell you have to just type gcloud ml and then type tab or double tab so i'll just type gcloud ml space and i type tab 
two times then it is giving all available ml services so language speech video vision so we want to use a vision so i'll just type vision i'll again give space and i'll again tap a double tab so it will give all available options from the vision api now here i want to find suppose a uh, labels i will use a uh, labels from the image so i will use detect hyphen labels now i have to give the image path here so i'll go here and i'll copy this image path so this path you have to copy is starting from gs okay so i'll copy this path okay and i'll click enter hope it won't give any error and it will provide us an output in a json format with all the labels which we could see in this ui so here what are the labels all labels should be contained in the output so i'll just type enter so if your vision api is not enabled it will ask you to enable api so currently i already using this api so it's not asking me to enable api now you could see all the details microphone public address system which was displaying here microphone public address system all labels are here in the output so we can use this using a cloud shell as well okay now suppose i'll just uh want to detect a text from the image so here i can just type detect text and it is showing the details architect it detected S instead of certified it is sanctified because it is not clearly visible yeah it is google so all text from the images it is displaying so this is using a cloud shell okay so let me close this now we'll see another approach using a python how we can use python to detect properties from the image okay so i already created a file test.py i'll show you this file okay so this is very small code what i am doing i'm just importing this vision so you have to import this vision model and this is three line of code where you have to initialize the instance and you have to set a image path which i already provided in a cloud shell so this is a code i'll add this code in the description or you can copy it from the google cloud documentation i copied from google cloud doc in documentation itself so i'll save it and i'll try to run this okay and it is also giving the same output in a labels micro stand eyelashes audio equipment color all the labels it is giving so we can use this python as a python so we can create application or web application where we'll use a python client libraries to scan the images and we'll only fetch a required part from this a json file so thank you for watching this video uh, we'll see another pre-trained service in a next video